Well, I haven't done a video in a while because I've been kind of under the weather. About this time every year, I get a sinus something. I don't know what it is. It's the weather, the pressure, the stuff they spray in that field behind the house. Whatever it is, it puts me down. And I live on antihistamines and um, aspirins and things like that for a couple of weeks. It hit me right after the film festival. And I've had this kind of nagging headache right up in here ever since. But... Um, feel a little better who knows it comes and it goes so i'm not going to make any promises about videos down the road uh, i do want to cover a few things and kind of catch up but um, you might note last week uh, as of thursday uh, thursday night my movie won the viewer's choice thanks to you guys off at the statesboro film festival and the following friday i don't know you probably won't be able to see it i can I'll hold it up as best i can that's uh, there i am right there I'm on the front page of the paper, and fortunately for something other than a big drug bust. So, uh, that was that. Um, this is, by the way, mostly a response to my, my good friend James, uh, goes by the name Flying Fisbee Films on here, who uh, left a message for me that reads, Post a bloody update about your wonderful acceptance speech, you lazy goon. Okay, he didn't say goon, he said git, but he doesn't really sound like that all the time. Anyway, um, I want to go over a couple of other things. At, at any rate, oh, and, and just, uh, let's just finish this bit up. Uh, yes, I did get to make a speech, and um, well, now you can see it in its entirety. First, I want to thank my wife for putting up with everything that I've done, all these movies that I make. She said, you know, I thought you were retired. <laughs> New career. And uh, I want to thank everybody that was involved, especially my pal Ronnie, who you saw in the movie. And uh, he was able to coordinate everybody that you saw in the thing. He got uh, a hold of Sean Devine from the college and Lisa Abbott, and they were able to find us those two great actors, uh, Brock and Anastasia, who unfortunately couldn't be here tonight. But uh, gosh, it was an, it was almost a movie that didn't happen. We uh, I wrote this thing over a year ago. It was going to be last year's picture, and we didn't make it. We didn't get a, to get a chance to do it, so we did that silly Captain Video thing instead. But uh, this was a blast, and uh, I think it just brings home that there is a, an active filmmaking community here, and uh, I'm really happy to be part of it. So thank you very much to Statesboro and everybody here tonight. Now, you notice it's got music and stuff like that behind it. It didn't have at the, at the show that night. Uh, that's because it's on the website for the Statesboro Herald, and they punch it up a little bit, or so they feel like. Um, actually, I had the camera going. In fact, you saw the clip last week of uh, me getting called to the stage. Well, very cleverly, I planned on passing the camera off to my friend Ronnie, who was going to video the whole thing with the T2i. Um, should have known in the foreshadowing of this event when he asked me, how do you start and stop the camera about what might happen? Yes, as you might know, as soon as I handed him the camera, he pushed the button and stopped it. But he very diligently watched the <laughs> At least we've got a copy of it. I'm not, I don't, you know, what can you do? That kind of thing happens. Last year, it was even funnier because I went up to get that uh, the trophy for uh, best editing and I handed the camera off to the wife. And then my nephew decided he wanted to be the videographer. And instead of seeing me going up to the stage, you pretty much just see the ceiling and the floor and hear a lot of, nope, no, I, I, I. Well, anyway, you saw now what it looks like when I got to make my little speech. Um, hadn't quite gotten a headache yet. Now, a couple other things I want to cover before we get out of here. Um, a very dear friend on here goes by the name, there, it's right there, I can never pronounce that. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. He's going to have to do it for us someday. But his name is Dominic, and um, he posted a video on Facebook and uh, would like to get uh, some likes for it. I posted a link down below in all that mush down there. And uh, if you would, please go to the video, take a look. It's pretty clever. I like the way he does everything one word at a time. And uh, give it a like. Now, I don't have a Facebook account, and I've never been able to figure that out anyway. I don't do MySpace or Twitter. This is it. This is as social as I get, is uh, YouTube. Uh, the wife went and looked at it and tried to like it, but she's a, uh, the only difference between her and me on Facebook is she has an account, and I don't. Other than that, she really isn't, I don't think she's, I don't know if she's ever made a posting. Maybe she did the night we, you know, won the contest. 
but um, we're trying to figure it out. If uh, you are more fluent in Facebook, maybe you can go to uh, Dom's uh, video there and sort out how you like it, or at least post a comment. We need to help him out. I mean, he was instrumental in uh, helping me out during the uh, contest. Um, another guy that's got a website that I'd like you to take a look at who was uh, kind enough to give me a mention is uh, William Scholl. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. He's got a website called Great Old Movies. And again, if you look down there someplace, you'll see the link to uh, his website. Uh, great reviews of movies and books and all, all things cinema. He, he likes just about everything. Uh, no, I take that back. He doesn't always like it. So you'll find that out in the reviews. You can spend hours just reading them a few paragraphs at a time. And um, he's a nice guy and uh, has a great site. I kind of wish he would do his uh, reviews on video. And uh, other than that, let's see. Oh, the last most important thing. I don't know how important it is. We're using the CineStyle uh, picture profile. It's uh, something new that Canon and Technicolor have put together and have made available for all of these cameras, primarily for the 5D Mark II, but it also works in the 7D, the 60D, the T2i, and the T3i, and I guess any of their video capable cameras. Um, there's also a link down there on how to get that. Now you may notice, I haven't changed or monkeyed with it much, uh, the, it looks kind of flat, but the idea is it gives you a lot more range to do color correction. And somewhere in the midst of this video, I'm going to attempt some color correction. So we'll see how it looks. I'm going to play with it and uh, see how it, how it works. Uh, presumably, it's a pretty good little system. Anyway, I'm going to go take some more antihistamines because I'm starting to feel the headache coming on. But thanks again to everybody that helped me out uh, for the uh, film festival. And uh, we'll try to get some more things going pretty soon.